Hey everyone, it's Alex Babs, one, two, three, four, five, here with more of the new Bratzilla's dolls. Uh, last time I did Sasha Bella Paws, and this time I have with me Jade Jador, uh, Yasmina Clairvoya, Cloetta Spelletta, and Megana Broomsticks. Yes, and once again, these dolls are the uh, new Wicked Witch Cousins of the Bratz. Um, of course, they're from MGA, and they are... So, I'll start with the doll who seems to be everyone's favorite, um, that would be Megana Broomsticks. And her magic power is that um, not only does she help you fly, but she also helps make dreams take flight. Um, she's the aviator of the group, I guess. Um, her witch mark is wings, so she has that tattooed on her forearm. Um, her fave pet is um, her little wingsy, and that's like a little pegasus with goggles on, and it's super cute. And her favorite class is Broom Gymnastics, and her style, um, Fashion Passion, is Sporty Supernatural. So yeah, and this is her face. Uh, she's really gorgeous. The first thing you notice is that her eyes are actually glittery. Like, yeah. And her eyes don't follow you as much as uh, Sasha Bella's did because they're already set to look to the side, but still really pretty. And I love um, her eyelids, the way they're painted. They look a lot bigger than the other girls and a bit more uh, sultry. And her main color is blue. I forget where I read it, but yeah, her favorite color is blue, so it's kind of her main thing. And uh, yeah. And then her hair is this really gorgeous, fiery red shade. Um, unfortunately, when you get her, it will be horrendous. But uh, it's actually fixable. Like, I did the best I could, but a lot of people have done better. And, you know, you really just need to, you know, boil wash or straighten or whatever, and it comes out really nicely. And then her little witch hat is just this plain black one. And her earrings are these gold dangly ones. Um, they're kind of shaped like broomsticks, of course. And that was a cute detail, so that is And Megana. this is Megana's outfit, of course, very blue. And, yeah, like I said in the Sasha Bella review, the, um, they've all got their own personal capes, and Megana's is just, um, blue, you know, there's no real details or patterns on it, but that's okay. And her top is, like, the snakeskin, um, tube top piece, of course, in blue and black. And then attached to it is this, uh, bronzy, pleather-like shoulder part, with some puffy little sleeves. And then for a skirt, there's this skirt, but there's also, um, a variant that doesn't have the pleats but of course I got the one with the pleats cause that's better um, and it's like shimmery denim there's little gold mixed in it's kinda like party Yasmin party Yasmin's jeans and then this um, top part which matches the shirt bronzy pleather type material and then for shoes she has these black ankle boots with uh, bronze buckles and underneath there are the real feet, like I showed you in the uh, Sasha Bella review. And then for accessories, she has her trusty broomstick. And that just kind of goes around her neck. And then she has this cute pair of goggles because she's the aviator of the group. And of course, you know, aviators gotta wear goggles. And that is Megana. And this is Yasmina Clairvoya. And as her last name suggests, she is clairvoyant, meaning she's psychic, she can see the future. Um, and her witch mark is the Eye of Horus, or the Egyptian Eye as they're calling it, so she has that tattoo. Um, her pet is Winkers, and that's a really cute little cyclops thing with um, little braids. And then her favorite class is Purses and Potions, and her fashion passion is Vintage Romantic, just like her cousin Yasmin. And, uh, yeah... Her face is again really unique. I love how well done these are and how they're all different from each other. Um, Yasmin, Yasmina's eyes, they're like really shocking yellow with like a purple outline, I guess. Yeah. Uh, purple's her like main color, as you can see. And I love her eyes and the way the eyebrows are too. So expressive. Um, but yeah, and then uh, just a heads up for everyone. She's not missing an earring, that she's supposed to only come with one earring, and it's a key. Really funky. And her hair is just amazing, the way they styled it. 
um, it's lilac as you can see and it's just all kinds of braids and buns made out of braids and it's really cool and um, her hat is the same mold as Sasha Bella's but it is in purple and just a really cool look and then this is Yasmina's outfit um, her cape is probably the funkiest of the bunch it's got like layers like underneath is this sheer black layer, layer and then over that is this really like cool I'm not sure what you call it like torn but not really torn just has holes in it um, purple layer and they cut kind of in the shape of eyes because you know clairvoyant and then her top is also purple really dark purple with um, a lot of details like uh, oh yeah and it's like leather kind of and she has these little ribbons crossing over and this gold things <laughs> and then over that she has this little uh, jacket that is like bronze snakeskin almost I'm surprised I didn't give this piece to uh, Sasha Bella but you know it looks good and it is separate so you can take that off yeah and then of course the Bradzilla's Academy crest and then for pants she has these cool metallic yellow pants like kinda like cargo pants but more glamorous cause they're uh, well shiny <laughs> and the pocket is real you know you can put stuff in it you can hold her little uh, monocle in it if you want and then for shoes she has these awesome boots in gold and black and they're just really cool and then her accessory is her monocle which really magnifies as you can see and that was a really awesome touch and here is Cloetta Spalletta um, her power is that she's a shapeshifter she can transform into anything um, her witch mark is a moon and stars and you can see she has that tattooed on her chest right there her pet is Bartholomew and that's just too cute it's like a cat dog creature and her favorite class is the history of platform shoes and uh, you know the brats know all about that so she can probably study with her cousin Chloe and then her fashion passion is girly glitter and the interesting thing about her is that she's literally split down the middle and that applies to her makeup, her face, her hair, everything um, two looks in one so on one side she has this really piercing blue eye and then kind of a smokier eyeshadow, more dramatic along with uh, darker lips and then on the other side she has a brown eye and a bit more subtle makeup See, and she has two different earrings as well on this side she has big pink hoop and on the other side is this little black dangly one with stars on it and yeah her hair is split down the middle too one side is hot pink with black streaks and the other is white with light pink streaks and there's also little crimped bits spread throughout and her hair is actually really soft it's probably the best of the whole line so that's always great and then her hat is just like Megana plain black and this is Cloetta's outfit um, like everything else about her it's split down the middle um, this side of her dress is black and the material is actually kinda weird it's like what they make uh, raincoats out of yeah, and it's really thick, but, um, yeah. And this side has a puffy sleeve with this little, uh, pink and silver lace, uh, frilly thing at the end. And this side of her cape is hot pink. Um, yeah. And then her boot on this side is black. And then on the other side of her outfit is hot pink, of course. Um... And then the sleeve isn't attached on the side, so you can take it off. And there's no sleeves at all, so it's strapless dress on that side. And it's silver, the cape. And this boot is hot pink. And then she has these, like, faux, bead, faux beaded belts. And what's interesting is that her academy crest is actually on the back. I thought that was a nice detail. And then she also has this, like, beaded harness thing. I don't know. Lady Gaga wears them a lot, so that's probably what they're going for. And, um, that's Cloetta. She's really cute. I love her. And this is Jade Jador. 
Um, her magic power is that she can heal broken hearts, and her witch mark is a heart arrow. And you can see that tattooed on her arm right there. Um, her pet is Kisifus, and this is a cute little love creature right there. Yeah, and um, her favorite class is Fashion Magic, of course. She's Jade's cousin. And her fashion passion is Urban Witchy, so very streetwise. And um, this is her face. I love her eyes. They're red, as you can see. And um, the pupils are actually little hearts. And it has this an amazing detail that they put in. And she has this little um, veil part knitting that goes over her eyes. And uh, yeah, bright red lips. They're not as dark as the other girls, of course, because her love is her thing, so it has to be red. And she has a little beauty mark. And her earrings are these little broken heart ones really cute and then her hair is short and white and her witch hat is this roughly little red one and this is Jade's outfit um, her cape is just you know plain red kind of like a thick satiny material really thick and there's also black stitching up there if that counts as like a detail and her academy crest and then underneath that I'm gonna take the cape off because there's some cool details <laughs> yeah and underneath her cape is her little dress and it's like a white vinyl pleather material with this printed um, glittery heart and little uh, printed stitching parts here zigzags and things and then on the top there's this really pretty lace part um, with like a collar and kind of puffy sleeves, really pretty, and then on the sides are really edgy, dramatic details with lace and netting, and overall really cool. I love Jade's outfit. And then she has these knee things. They're kind of like garters, but they're not holding anything up. And of course, hearts, because love is her thing. And then her boots are the same mold as Megana's, but with silver buckles instead of bronze. And she has a little red heart purse. And all of the Bratzilla's dolls come with, of course, a Bratzilla's stand, um, a really cute broomstick brush, because, you know, they're witches, um, instructions, of course, and then two spell cards. And once Bratzilla's.com opens up, um, you'll be able to go online and then hold one of your cards up to your webcam, and it will unlock, like, virtual reality and your magic wand and all kinds of spells and things and it's going to be webisodes and it's just going to be huge <laughs> um, yeah and of course each one has the girl's own spell like here's jades amor amor may true love start bratzacadabra heal my broken heart and then megana's is let me soar on stars of night bratzacadabra may my dreams take flight and then Cloetta has create a new me, now rearrange, Bratzacadabra, give me the power to change. And Yasmina's is sparkly crystals, stardust shine, Bratzacadabra, show the future that's mine. And then the other cards just have a picture of their little pet, um, but there's nothing on the other side. So yeah. Okay, for whatever reason, everything's all washed out color-wise, um, I'm not sure why, but anyways, I know a lot of people are curious about these dolls, the articulation on these dolls, because they are much more articulated than the Bratz party bodies, obviously, and I thought I'd show that, and yes, I put her in a bikini, for those of you who are easily offended, um, of course, you know, the arms, they can go all the way around and stuff, but I don't want to ever fallen into those, so I just want to show that. <laughs> and then the arms can bend much more than the Bratz party bodies. And these dolls can actually put their hands on their hips, uh, which is surprisingly something that the Bratz couldn't do. And um, of course, they have wrist articulation, as you can see. Yeah. And then um, they have articulation at the waist, like the little dolls. Um, you basically get the idea. And then the legs, you know, you can go all out, all over. <laughs> and their knees, while they aren't pivotal, 
they do bend up quite a bit like that oh and also each one has a little tattoo um, their witch mark Sasha Bella's is a tribal cat and it's on her thigh and uh, in addition to the head that's basically all of their points of articulation and um, in case you were wondering most brats clothes do fit though they're kind of tight um, and height wise Mm, we have to show a naked doll, y'all. Um, this is how they measure up. Alright, well, that is Bratzilla's Cloetta Spelletta, Yasmina Clairvoya, Jade Jadol, and um, Megana Broomsticks. Um, yeah, and you can keep up with these dolls on Facebook at facebook.com slash Bratzilla's. You can subscribe to their YouTube channel at youtube.com slash official Bratzilla's. Um, follow them on Twitter, at Bratzilla's Dolls, and then follow them on Instagram, at Bratzilla's. Alright, thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and thank you.